All right, now let's take a look at how to log into the Gate Access app and a few examples of how to register guests onto your Gate Access list. You'll see a red octagon in the shape of a stop sign as the app icon called Gate Access. I'll select that. Then you're gonna choose a community code because our Gate Access provider does service several communities. You need to select the unique community code and ours is PSGRC. So at the top, search for that bar. You can either scroll all the way down to PSGRC or you can type that text field and type in PSGRC and that will come up and select PSGRC. Make sure that is selected with a green check mark as your community code. Then enter your user name, which is your seven digit member number of the primary member, which will end in two zeros. And then enter your password. And then also select remember me so that the next time that you come into your gate access app, it will remember your credentials and then just simply press log in. And then you have the menu options there at the top. You have your guest list. You also have uh, an option to view recent vendor, recent visitors. And you can, another really important one to use is contact info. Make sure that you check your contact information, that it is up to date and correct with your most recent phone numbers. So now let's go into guest list at the top and you'll see, I have a few guests there that don't have dates to the right of them. That means they are on my permanent guest list. And if I want to add a new guest at the top right where it says add guests, select that. And then as a test, I'm going to add Eric Long as my guest. So the text field that says last name slash company, enter the last name of your guest over in the other text field for first name. And if there's any specific notes for security, you can enter that in that text field here. Then you have the option, okay, is this guest a temporary guest for one day or a couple days or a week, or would you like them on your permanent guest list? They frequently visit you and it's uh, more convenient to have them on your permanent guest list. You can either select temporary or select permanent as well. If you select permanent, it takes the calendar out but I want to add Eric just for uh, tomorrow. So then you'll see two quick options for you can make a guest active for today only. I select today and then it highlights today's date, January 21st in green on the calendar. Or if I would like to add Eric to my guest list for tomorrow, I can select tomorrow and then you'll see the green highlighted date goes over to the 22nd Saturday. But now let's say I would like to add Eric for a week from the 22nd to the 29th. So now that the 22nd is highlighted, if I tap the number 29 for next Saturday, it will highlight that entire week. So Eric would be on my guest list from the 22nd to the 29th. And then to complete up on the top right, select save. And then you'll see that Eric is now added to my guest list and the dates that he is active, that I approve for him to be have access to the community is the 22nd to the 29th. So that's a few examples of how to use our gate access app. Thank you for watching these tips on how to use our gate access mobile app.